say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another episode of The Biggest Asshole. That's right, The Biggest Asshole, where we get to witness multiple assholes in action, and you get to vote. There's a voting button in the top right corner of the screen, and you get to pick the biggest one after you watch all these clips. And the first clip is sent in by Rapid Degeneration in his Scorpion G. And as you will witness here, this game rapidly degenerates. Rapidly? Did I mention rapidly? It will degenerate. And three assholes will emerge immediately to start us off. A platoon, the gold digger from the S3 RPE clan in the ISM. Apprentista Ebre from the CCE clan in the Lover. And Heisenberg 99 from also the S3. R-E-P-E -E clan, whatever, in the Lowry. And you can read in the chat there explaining what happened. 999 ping. We're sorry. Lag. They all experienced lag simultaneously. And uh, the object 430U replies, idiots. Oh my God, sorry. I said I was sorry. Holy smokes. We're sorry. We didn't mean it. We had lag. All three of us. We're sorry! The next asshole reveals himself immediately in the chat in the next clip. SFF Karhu in the M6 tells his whole team, F you, idiots! Just a smorgasbord of stupidity I have in store for you today. What could you expect when one of your teammates types in the chat, F you, idiots, at the beginning of the game, during the countdown? Well, now we get to see. Unfortunately, Red Rum Inc. in the SU12244 who sent in this clip replied, to the instigator and has been shot immediately immediately by the m6 he is tracked and now the m6 is approaching him from the rear which is always a little bit troubling when someone approaches you from the rear yeah he is shooting me the, the, the su12244 is saying yes he's shooting me the artillery has shot the m6 the m6 who threatened his whole team at the beginning during the countdown has made good with his threat F you, team! I'm going to track this SU-12244 and now ram him up the ass and push him. Push him against the wall. Go ahead and shoot me, artillery. I dare you. I dare you. Just shoot me. This will not stop me. I will keep trolling this SU-12244. SFF Karhu in the M6 is busy pushing the SU. Oh, the SU has gotten away from him. The SU is a little bit faster because it is Russian and he's starting to run away. The artillery is watching closely. Both artilleries are watching closely. The SU is turning around. Oh, it looks like they're facing off against each other now. But the M6 is undeterred. The M6 now faces the SU-12244 frontally, daring him to shoot him, daring him to take a shot. He knows if the SU-12244 takes multiple shots, he could turn blue. But what is happening here? What is happening? The, the artillery has rammed the M6 and inflicted team damage on himself uh, because he rammed him. So now he backs up, aims carefully. Look, the artillery is aiming. He's aiming five, six, seven, eight seconds and he's taken a shot and stunned them both because if you observe the crater on the ground, he missed the M6 at point blank range because that's what artillery does in this game. They can hit an enemy scout tank traveling 80 kilometers an hour at the other side of the map and ruin his game. But if you aim for eight seconds versus an asshole on your team at point blank range, you will miss. But that's okay because the SU-12244 took the shot and took him out. And eh, nothing like teamwork. Was the M6 today's biggest asshole? Well, you guys get to decide. This next clip has been sent in by I'm Bozo. I'm Bozo, and I'm driving an AMX 1357, a tank that he must have purchased. Now, I'm Bozo doesn't claim to be a great player. He doesn't claim to be a unicom. He's never promised you a rose garden. He's just trying to have fun in this game and do the best he can, and he's moved way up into the middle of the map spotted and has been spotted in return and is hiding behind a rock and there he is behind the rock now he has never promised anyone a rose garden he has not promised anyone unicom skilled gameplay he does not know how to carry games 
He is in his nice new shiny tank which he purchased. Well, maybe it isn't new. Maybe he's had it for a long time. How the hell do I know? But I have to say something in this commentary. All I know is that we get to watch him here, hiding behind this rock, in this bush, cowering from the enemies. Cowering from the enemy to his right, cowering from the enemy to his left, cowering from the enemies in front of him, and cowering from the enemies to his side. There's a rock on your left side there, so you won't be able to spot those guys on the left, but that's okay. He's way up there, but he's not getting any spotting assist because he's hugging the rock. But he is scared. He doesn't want to get hit. And oh, he's got some spotting assist now. He's detected someone and his team is shooting. He's going to stay in this spot and try not to die and try to help the team as best he can. Some of his teammates are pinging the map, pinging the map where there are enemies. Just to remind everyone, yes, in case you didn't know, there are enemies there. I know you've all seen them. And oh, wait, wait, one of his teammates is saying, you are blocking my shot. It's uh, Teflon from the Rebel Clan. Teflon 1940 from the Rebel Clan and the E25 has told him, you are blocking my shot. Well, we look behind there. Well, what, what shot is he blocking? I'm not sure how he's blocking your shot. There's the E25 behind. And now he's taking a shot. He does have an auto loader, but he only took one shot because he likes to conserve his ammunition, this I'm Bozo character. And he's behind this bush. Where is that E25? He's uh, back at the, on the ridge line there by the base. And I guess I'm Bozo is blocking his shot. And now some teammates are continuing to ping the location where there are obviously enemies. Just in case people don't realize that there are enemies or do, they do not have the last known location turned on and do not see the dots on the map right at the spot where people are pinging. It's always good to ping, 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 ping the map just in case your teammates don't already know that there are enemies there. Well, I'm Bozo now is going to creep up and he's finally got some shots. He's going to bounce one, two shots and pull back and be spotted and hide in his little corner again. He hasn't promised you a rose garden. He's not a unicom. He's going to get hit and his turret is going to be damaged and he is going to get hit again and back up and not use his repair kit because it's too expensive and sit here in this bush. That's how he likes to play. And if you don't like it, that's your own problem. I'm Bozo is going to be content just sitting in this bush. And some more teammates are pinging the location of the enemies where they've already pinged 17 times, just in case the team does not know that there's an enemy right there. And is he gonna get a shot? No, he's not gonna get a shot, but he is getting some spotting assist. And not much has happened in this game. This is a clip in the biggest asshole, but there has not been an asshole yet detected, although that E25 did say, you are blocking my shot, which was rather strange. And this Teflon 1940 from the Rebel Clan in the E25, he's also purchased a tank, another premium tank, a tank destroyer, and he's fed up waiting. He's, he's fed up waiting back there, waiting for I'm Bozo to spot. And he says, if you want the job done, you've got to do it yourself. And he surged forward, driven past I'm Bozo, and now is going to try and win this game single-handedly. I'm Bozo is going to miss his one shot and not fire the rest of his clip because he does not know that this tank has an auto loader. And Teflon 1940 is going to single-handedly kill all the enemies that were in front of I'm Bozo. Those enemies that he did not detect because he was behind the rock. Like I said, if you want the job done, you've got to do it yourself. And Teflon 1940, oh! For good measure, he's killed I'm Bozo! You're such a Bozo, you've done nothing all game, we don't need you! I took care of it myself, so I'll just team kill you! Why not? And I'm Bozo is dead! Oh boy! <laughs> You're blocking my shot! Let me go kill everyone, and then I'll kill you! And now read the chat, read the chat. This is absolutely, totally classic, unbelievable, a smorgasbord of stupidity, I promised you. I'm Bozo says, what the hell? What's, wh why did you kill me? And the E25, he's up there. He's single-handedly going to win this game, but his own artillery takes him out. The M12 kills him, and now read this. Teflon is upset. You <laughs> The guy that just killed his, rushed forward and killed his own teammate has been TK'd, and now he's upset, you ass! <laughs> he, <laughs> he 
E25 hit me! F you! <laughs> he goes up and he kills the, the AMX! That's okay! Ten seconds later, his artillery TKs him! Fuck you! <laughs> Karma's a bitch! <laughs> It's okay for me to team kill, but why did you have to kill me? I'm so upset. Fuck you. Fuck this game. <laughs> if he wasn't today's biggest asshole, he certainly was the most entertaining. That's <laughs> 15 seconds after he TKs one of his teammates. He gets TK'd. Fuck you, asshole! What the fuck? <laughs> oh boy, okay. All right, okay, let's let's uh, move on here. This next clip. All right, uh, this, uh, there's an M44 in artillery getting into a sneaky spot here. What's his name? Injamess Epic, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, it's always good for the artillery to get into these tricky locations here in this high ground on the edge so that they can shoot over the mountains and help their team uh, but uh, unfortunately <laughs> there's a tiger long nights of solace from the so one or whatever fucking clan I don't know <laughs> you know what's gonna happen right do I have to do the commentary for this one the artillery got here first the tiger's a little slower. It doesn't have the horsepower. <laughs> but he's slowly moving in. And he... He's gonna... <laughs> and... <laughs> a smorgasbord of stupidity. And that's not enough. Slide into the water and drown. Because why not? Why not drown as well? Ah! <laughs> and the tiger's blue. Mission accomplished. Is the tiger today's biggest asshole? Well, <laughs> you know you get to vote, right? <laughs> Only one of these guys can be the biggest asshole. You get to decide. There's a voting button that you can vote with on the top right corner of the screen. And I kid you not, guys, I kid you not, this is going to be the best episode of Your Biggest Assholes. Or not, not your, big, of the biggest asshole. Did I say your biggest assholes? <laughs> this is going to be the biggest, I mean the best uh, episode ever. We are going to finish this in style. Hang in there. This is worth it. We've got Captain Awesome. <laughs> Which already lets you know what's going to happen in his bad chat. And he's going to move to one of the spots I go to spots sometimes. In his fast little light tank. Captain Awesome! I am Captain Awesome! And I'm going to detect some enemies for my team. In this little bush right here. This is where Captain Awesome is going. And it's not a bad spot to go. See, he's detected an enemy. Someone shoot him. He's detected him, and he is not going to shoot because he does not want to be detected himself. He probably does not have sixth sense, that's why he backed away there. And now there's a TD that's uh, pulled up alongside him, right beside him. And Captain Awesome is very, very uh, courteous and allows room for this TD to, to push in beside him. He's not getting in his way, he's backing up and he's saying, Okay TD, you can have that spot. I will come on this side and spot. Meanwhile, <laughs> some of his teammates are not so happy with Mr. Awesome. One of his teammates just fell off the cliff and killed himself because he, I don't know why, because that's just what happens. But the FV, the, uh, <laughs> the FV4005, Yokamu. <laughs> Is threatening the Batcha. Go spot, or I will kill you. I've got my own problems. I'm stunned. But Yokamu has shot the Batcha in the ass with his huge 183 millimeter gun 
that does 1700 damage, but he low rolled for 800 and did not kill him. He just tracked him, destroyed his gun, his turret, and his commander. This guy right here in the FV4005, Yokamu, who witnessed one of his teammates jump off the cliff and kill himself, who had targets lit by this light tank who he didn't shoot, who decided the best thing to do would be to shoot my own scout and cripple him. And now Yokamu is driving aimlessly in the open and he's stunned. And this is the, this is the best part. The light tank now says, oh yeah, I'm going to make your game miserable. You've destroyed my game. Are you stupid enough to shoot me? Yes! And he's banned. And the game prompts you and lets you know if you want to enhance your game experience, you can go adjust the brightness. And if you didn't know, it's in the graphics settings. But when this happens, when the victim is victorious over the asshole when the asshole is actually the one who is banned th the game should put victory across the front of the screen for you this is a victory for the batcha i'm gonna put it in there right now victory it's a victory for captain awesome thank you for sending that clip in and uh, guys i don't envy your task this week you have to choose one to be the biggest asshole this week. Good luck. I have no idea what the results will be.